Alright, so I haven't done these videos in a long time, um, mostly because of school and other obligations, but now that it's the summer, why not make a new one? So, still got the old Tilt 2 here. Now, this is the latest ROM, and you're going to notice lock screen here. New lock screen, it, um, it incorporates the Android esque slide to unlock bar here. And when you get a notification, such as email, um, email, miss call, text, they'll come up down here. So if it's one individual thing, it'll show up and give all the information right um, where it says slide to unlock. And if it's multiple items, it'll show each icon and a number next to them of how many missed calls, how many missed texts, um, how many emails are in red. So slide down to unlock. And then, pretty much, n not much has changed, but um, a lot of stability. Uh, I noticed that um, messaging especially, uh, big improvement on stability. And I'm not going to show you that now because I have a bunch of messages in my inbox. But um, also the swipe keyboard, um, which caused messaging to crash a lot. I notice is very stable now, and um, I'm actually using it. Um, it's quite nice. Um, there's one little minor glitch with the swipe keyboard. If you open up someone's messages, um, and then you swipe a word, then you have to wait for all the messages to load, and then it'll input the text. So if you think your phone crashed or something, it didn't. And now I'm going to boot into Android for you guys, the newest version of Android. Now I believe I put um, the Froyo build on here. So, let's check it out. Still same deal. Um, now you have a, you had a uh, selector there for uh, what type of phone you had, so there's only one build so there's not separate builds and it also changes the keyboard information and any other information about the phone that could be different um, still uh, push to talk button on the tilt uh, on the t um, the tilt 2 does not work it's not mapped yet um, all the old buttons are the same uh, mute button still is not mapped um, rear speaker does not work still um, if I recall, GPS is working now. It's very slow, and they recommend that you obtain um, a GPS signal in Windows Mobile first, which I don't know how that would work, but that's they said it seems to go faster if you get a signal in Windows Mobile than boot into Android. Um, then, let's see, um... Bluetooth or um, Wi-Fi is working unencrypted. I believe they're still having issues with encrypted Wi-Fi networks. Um, actually, I'm gonna go. Well, this is booting. I'm gonna grab a list. All right. All right. Well, I booted, but I'll still pull up XDA developers. Also, I don't know why, I still have to check the uh, the form, but when it boots, it boots like this. Not sure why, but uh, all you gotta do is just slide the keyboard in and out, and I'll flip back to uh, portrait. So, same deal. Uh, yes, this is the Froyo build. Um, so you notice down here, phone, contacts, messaging, and internet. And... You see, you got 3G. So then you have your applications here. Um, and remember, this is um, this is rooted, so you can sideload any apps that you downloaded off the internet, um, which I do not condone. But if you choose to, that's your choice. Um, all the other stuff seems to be the same. Um, 
Oh, some messaging here. I don't believe this comes with the swipe keyboard. Let's go to XDA. Oh, right. New message. Let's uh, just go compose. No, um, and also text um, speech to text still does not work. You, oops. You press that. All right. Well. Same. It's, uh, for whatever reason, it's just not compatible. Um. Sorry, just give me one second and I'll find the, uh, I'll put my camera down, I forgot my tripod here. Where is, let's see your audio, I'm alright, Android dev, and then, okay, project Android, here we go. Alright, this is the Froyo build. Alright, still... What is not working on here is Bluetooth. Um, the, uh, the back of... The rear speakerphone still does not work. Uh, the camera still does not work. There is a... Um, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate. Oh, well there's the home panels. Um, uh, if you go to applications, uh, well, it used to be here in the older builds, but um, they did have the camera application, and uh, it when you did, you'd get the little HTC camera icon on the screen, then it would just go black and freeze up your phone. Um, and then OpenGLES is still... Um, still not working so they're using the software rendering uh, also battery meter too so even though I did fully charge the phone it's still saying fully charged but whatever um, yeah GPS is working and Uh, they also have a build with uh, the 2.1 with the Sense UI, which I found was extremely buggy, and I couldn't even get it to fully function properly because it would boot, and then something would crash, and the phone would become unusable. It, it would say, this crashed, reset it. it. It was something that couldn't be killed. It had to be reset. It had to be running in the background. Also, Android Market is working. Uh, someone asked me on comments, which I don't know why it's not loading right now, but it is working. Maybe I just need to restart my phone, but um, yes, it does work. Um, the browser, that works too. And Alright, well, it doesn't want to load there, so let's just try Google. And it's not working over my Fuji right now, but I'll just have to find the, uh, maybe just the APN settings need to be changed or something. Um, but yeah, you do have your multiple home screens. You have three home screens here. And you do have the landscape mode. Once again, you have the option to voice command, but it doesn't work. So that's it. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated more frequently, but hope this will tie you over.